Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. I hope you're all doing it really, really well. I'm really excited to be back filming and this morning I thought we could spend a fun little shopping day together. I've woken up and I'm feeling really in the spring mood. The sun is beaming today, like it honestly feels like a morning in July or something. It's still really crisp and cold, which is why I've got my big cozy jumper on. But because me and Sam have got a holiday coming up as well, I think I'm just in that mindset of like it want, wanting to be like spring, summer, and I've seen that all of the shops have got their cute little Easter and spring bits in. So I thought we could have a fun little morning together. I've made myself a little coffee, and yeah, I'm just so excited to be back making this video. My favourite kind of video to watch, and it's just probably one of my favourite things to do. Like if anyone asks me if I've got a hobby, this is the only thing that will come to mind. I don't know if you can count this as a hobby, but a coffee and a mooch around this retail park. Honestly, this retail park is like the perfect for this kind of morning. We've got the range, next door you've got a B&M, and then next door to that you've got home bargains. So we're pretty much set up for a good couple of hours of mooching. So I'm gonna take our little homemade coffee and we're gonna go and see what cute little spring homeware housey bits we can find and i'm really excited to spend this morning with you do you see what i mean like is there a better lineup for this kind of morning honestly i don't think so and each shop is huge as well so we're in for an absolute treat usually when i come into this bnm i literally just skip straight to the homeware section but i'm literally going to take my time this morning and go down every single aisle because i feel like i've never done that i come in here all the time and i feel like i don't know what's in half of these aisles so we're gonna have like a thorough shop and at the moment i'm just looking at the dog toys for lola she literally has probably about 25 little stuffed toys like this but she absolutely loves playing with things like this so i might treat her to a new little how cute is that i feel like that looks like a little baby's toy really it's not the most aesthetic little dog bottles oh my god i absolutely love that how nice with that look in the kitchen. Look at like some little monochrome ones as well. How pretty are they? I'm sorry, the thought of Lola in that, she would not allow this at all. But how sweet is that? What a good idea. It's only a fibre and it's like microfibre. I feel like that'd be so nice if your dog would allow you putting that on them to dry after the bath. They've got the nicest little Mother's Day section. I wouldn't usually look in here for Mother's Day, but how pretty these marks I feel like they're really in the shape and they're like in bulbs which makes them look a little bit more expensive I think these are only three pounds they come in this really nice pale green pink and a purple and how cute are these dog one hint hint to Sam how cute is that and they've also got little cat mom ones as well how sweet we get loads of questions on my tiktok about our laundry bin and it's exactly the same one as this pretty much we got ours from amazon i think but i've just noticed i've got one in bnm and this is the exact same kind of material and that's 15 pounds i feel like it looks quite luxe it's kind of like a habitat kind of laundry bin i really want to give our utility room like a bit of a makeover because it's just so unorganized and i feel really lucky that we've got a utility room in the house it was one of the things that I was like really pleased with when we bought, bought our house and reserved it off the panel. I was like, oh my god, we've got a little bit of 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 the nicest little jars and bottles. Look at that. For like your, I guess it's for powder, isn't it? We don't really use powder, but how pretty is that? And then they've also got like all the different little bottles so you've got powder and they've got all different fonts and stuff and detergent these are like the ikea ones but they're plastic which i think is a bit better for laundry stuff so you don't smash it up and they've also got these little metal tins how cute i really want to get something but i feel like that's like a project in itself but this is actual glass i feel like that's really nice quality it's five so nice. I feel like the bathroom stuff in here is really nice. It all seems really nice quality. This is like really heavy and it feels like proper stone. It's £2.50 and they've got the full range. So you've got like, I guess this is for like toothbrushes. 
and stuff like that and little trays I think these would be nice as like a little jewellery tray on like your bedside table obviously in the bathroom but it's really heavy it feels really nice quality I also love all of these storage baskets I think this one would be really nice in the bathroom with like little flannels or makeup towels in love all the colours really really like this whole section these little these are like a mango wood again they look really expensive and really good quality this one's £2.50 and the bigger one is £4 I feel like this would be a nice little jewellery tray how pretty is this marble as well again really heavy looks like real marble it's got like a little glisten in it and again they've got like the full range for the bathroom here we love that has anyone used B&M bedding? Because I'm not going to lie, I am a little bit of a bedding snob. Visually, I love the look of them. Like, they have some really, really pretty beddings. But uh, I'm always a bit scared to pick one up. So if you've got any B&M bedding, let me know what the quality is like. I know, obviously, it won't be great. Um, we always splurge on white company bedding because as I say I am a little bit of a bedding snob just because of the amount of time you spend in bed I feel like it's an investment but yeah if anyone's got any let me know because there are some really gorgeous sets in here the vases from b and I feel like have stepped up so much I love this little ribbed one it's really simple but it's a really good size and it's really thick and for £3 I feel like you can't go wrong that in spring with like some daffodils or some tulips and I think would look really pretty and I really like this simple one as well three pound absolute still okay this is perception but I usually rush ahead to and because it's a new season I feel like I have to mix up my scents a bit because I'm currently like still in the cosy pumpkin spice I've still got an autumn candle that's like Hanging on for dear life, so I feel like we need to mix up a bit. I do love a bit of my candle as well, I really like the packaging. Oh, that's really fresh. What's that one? Mandarin, lemon, and pink grapefruit. I feel like that's a nice spring set. I also have been loving reed diffusers at the moment. We've got one in our lobby that's actually being there, and every time you walk in the front door, you really smell it, and I just feel like that's really nice. They always have really nice ones, they've actually got that in a reed diffuser so I might pick that up because that's a really nice fresh fruity springy scent so I might pick the, the diffuser up in that candle yeah I'm gonna get that maybe for our downstairs toilet or something because that smells quite strong as well and I've also got they've got like the jar versions of these scents and then they've got like the big three wickers for six pound which I think is good because these will last forever Breakthrough, so nice and fresh. I'm just so sorry, like, this is sandalwood, cedar, and cardamom, which I think will be a little bit warmer. Oh, that's nice as well, actually. Oh, quite fresh. What I like as well about their home fragrance, they have like the wax melts, the jar candles, the big jars with the lids on, the mini ones, the three wickers and the reed diffusers so if you find a scent that you like you can actually kit out your whole house with that scent with the diffusers the different candles the wax melts i feel like we're literally set love anything black and white i'm like a mud pie and i just can't resist it let's smell this one oh that's nice and fresh as well that's a bit more floral though i think i still prefer the Another vase that I just absolutely love. That's reminding me of sort of Zara home. That's a little bit more expensive for £8. But again, how pretty would that be in the spring and summer with some fresh flowers coming out of it? I really love the shape of that. I feel like it's really different. This one is honestly just a bit of me. What was I just saying about black things? And it's half price. It's £4. And it's such a good size. I love like the matte finish on it. This whole section is just like our living room. We actually already have this. We've had it for a year or so. And I love it. I love it so much still. And I've also brought out this candle. This is definitely new. I've never seen this before. But how pretty is that jar? I would keep that jar even when the candle's burnt down. And I love the shape 
of these bars. I feel like the matte finish on these is making them look a lot more sort of luxe and more expensive than what they are. I didn't know if these were actually real dry flowers or not, but I'm pretty sure that they are. How pretty is this bunch? I love that flower. Listen, like a little mini vase in your bathroom or in your hallway would look so pretty. Very spring and they're only £3, which is quite reasonable for something like this. I love the colours in this one. I've got like this whole section, which is like very springy. Mm -hmm. I love these, but these are just too gay for a house. Honestly, if I bought these home, I don't think so. I don't know what fit in. But £4 for three two towels, I think, is really nice. And if you've got a bit of colour in your house and you want to get something for spring, I think they're so cute. And I love this bar of square. £2.50. Sam's mum has actually got some glasses really similar to this in like a yellow colour. And I think she paid a lot more for them than £2.50 and they're from Habitat, I think, in Sainsbury. So, absolute bargain for £2.50. I've just gone past like the kitchen section, so I wasn't expecting to find anything like this. But near like the plastic water bottles, I've just found these. They're like little glass soda cups, they've called them. And you get a glass straw with them and it's a bamboo lid. And they're £3. I feel like, again, that's just so reasonable and these in the summer in the garden with like a coke and icing i love them i've never seen this shape bamboo lid before i know these are absolutely everywhere at the moment but i've never seen this shape before which is really nice come down the garden section which i never normally do honestly me and time are not gardeners at all my mum has done our whole garden for us but this year i want to put a little bit more effort in our garden because we spend quite a lot of time in there and I keep seeing these planters and I think I'm going to grab a couple, not now, but when Sam comes with me, we need to decide where they're going to go and how many we're going to get. But you get the small ones and then the really big ones, but how pretty would these look with plants in them? And I feel like they just look so expensive. And for £10, I think that's really nice. They're like metal. And I love the little stand that it comes on. So I think I'm going to do some of these this year with some little plants. I think that would look really pretty. I also love these. I love that nude beigey colour with that print on and then I think the hooks, do you just hook those over your fence? I don't know, honestly gardening really intimidates me but I absolutely love that print, how pretty I've got some gorgeous garden bits in here, I absolutely love that, it's £8 but how, look, how nice would that look like on your fence or something it reminds me of like a boho Ibiza cafe or something and then I absolutely love this planter, it's down to £18 and it's really big. But I absolutely love that. We've got some so pretty, such pretty little pots and stuff. And these lanterns, how nice would they look lit up in the evening? I like all the light that would come out of them would be really nice and pretty up there. What a good idea are these reusable ice cubes so they wouldn't melt in there if you wanted to do like a little drink to put on the table and it comes with this little craft but my mum used to have these when we were little so that is such a throwback but they'd be perfect in the summer again i feel like these are really boho that's reminding me of like a beach bar in ibiza or something imagine that lit up in your garden it's got like a big bulb in it as well so i guess it's solar yeah it is because it's got the little solar thing on the top 12 pounds i think it's like real bamboo Right, we're next door now in Home Bargains. Not really seen anything so far, but I have to show you this for anybody who likes their matcha. A little matcha gift set. But look how pretty the little glass mug is, and then you get a tube of matcha. And a little whisk. It's in the Mother's Day section, and it's three ninety nine. I just thought that was the cutest thing ever. I am not a matcha girl, but if you are, definitely for you. Okay, all the nicest little bits that I found in home bargains it seem to be in the Mother's Day section. How adorable is this? You get a little heart plate, a little mug, a teaspoon and the cutest little pot of jam and it's got all like pretty flowers on and stuff like that and it's like a little breakfast in bed, in breakfast in bed set. How pretty is that? I absolutely love that and it's £5.99. How on earth do you get all of that for £5.99? That is incredible. So that is just the cutest little idea for a little Mother's Day gift. They've also got quite a nice little flower section. 
I don't really know how I feel about like plastic or artificial flowers to be totally honest with you but if they're your thing they've got quite a range and then they've got the prettiest little like springy vases underneath this one is a bit of me and so is this they would be my choice but if you're looking to go a bit more colourful for spring you've got loads it's like a little flower bar and you could mix and match and make your own little arrangement in there oh this is cute i love that little table i feel like that's very springy i like that vase as well i've seen these on tiktok and i've just walked in and they've got them in the range they're actual glass but how pretty would these look with some little easter eggs in i'm gonna resist because we don't need decor every single season but i absolutely love those and they've got like a full easter range here they've got little bunny candles Okay. It's a bit too colourful for our house, but the cutest little bit. If you're looking for any like little dried bits or you want to make a flower arrangement, I actually did this for autumn. I'm not going to do it for spring as well because, as I say, we go all out for autumn and Christmas, so I'm going to resist going overboard for spring. But how pretty is this dried eucalyptus? Saying that, I've literally got an urge to buy some of that. I feel like that's just quite... Um, like an all-rounder isn't it they're only like 4 99 3.99 and they're quite big bunches as well i know when i bought some for autumn i was able to do like two separate um bunches for the house but i love that drive eucalyptus and then also look how pretty they are for spring there's like little pops of pinks and purples and then like the light page for the eucalyptus i think that would look so nice in a vase I know I literally just said that I was going to resist any spring decor, but I feel like this would pass as like just general house decor. It's between these dried flower bouquets and this one, or just like dried eucalyptus, but I feel like in this one you get a bit of everything. So I might go for that because we've got an empty vase in the living room, so I feel like these would look really nice in there. In the little like, furniture section, I just spotted this stool. How gorgeous is that? Love the little black legs and the shape of it. I don't know. Oh, and it's storage as well. The lid comes off and you could put stuff in there. I feel like that would be perfect for a dressing room. It's like a nice soft boot clay. I don't know how much it is though. Is that it? Forty nine ninety nine. And that's really reasonable. Love that. Okay, so believe it or not, this wasn't actually on the original agenda. But we're literally like under five minutes from Primark, so I feel like it would be rude to come on a little home shopping morning and not go and have a little look in Primark home because I'm gonna I'm gonna put it out there and say I feel like Primark Homeware is up there with the best at the moment, like for high street stuff that you can like have a mooch around in. Do you know what? Sometimes I remind myself of who's seen those Marge Simpson AI, you know the carousels on TikTok the like Marge Hun or whatever it is sometimes I genuinely remind myself of that but honestly like whatever like I am a homeware hun I love b and I love home bargains like nothing just does it like that for me but yeah it'd be rude to not go and pop in have a look in Primark home because their homeware stuff as I say is really good and I feel like they do like seasonal stuff really well um I know it's just like I know the season thing is OTT like completely get that i feel like the shops just jump on any season and any opportunity to get some homeware out but i just love having a look at it it makes me happy um so yeah we're literally under five minutes from primark so we're gonna go in there now and have a little look at the homeware stuff i'm gonna try and stay away from like the clothes and stuff because i've been buying bits for america and i've told myself i don't need things from primark as well i think i'd rather save my money and get and invest in better things for my holiday so we're gonna stay away from the clothes section but we're gonna go and have a look at the homeware because it's only 20 past 10 so we've got all day we've got all morning i feel like it would be rude not to so yeah let's go and have a little look as soon as i walked in there's just so much spring and easter stuff but how pretty is this green i love the little pops of purple and it's actually a really good size it's 14 pounds which is really reasonable as well i've got so many pretty pastel bits i absolutely love these dried flower that encased arrangements so pretty They've also got like an all cream, one of those dried flower arrangements, but just as like a little styling piece in the spring and summer, I think that's lovely. How much is it? 
seven pound. I think that's really unique. I've never really seen anything like that before. This whole section, I'm loving. And the home fragrance here is always so good. I feel like this looks really expensive. I think it's the font, I don't know. I just absolutely love the look of that. If you wanna do some like spring summery pots for inside your house, they've got this faux eucalyptus. It's nine pounds, I think. But this is like a really pretty pot. I think it would look lovely. It looks really realistic. It's got like gravel in the bottom, but it's a really good size as well. I've actually seen people buy this on TikTok. It's £10. But it's like a little glass and a carafe set. And that got glass over in the top of there. It's so good for £10. Yeah, so that's what it looks like when you've got the glass in the top. But I think the middle of the table or even like your bedside would be really nice. Our whole house is filled with like fake candles at the moment because I don't like lighting them around Lola. And we usually order them from like stuff on that I've just noticed they've got some little ripped ones in here which are quite cute. They're £3. These are always really handy to have. They're really nice to just switch on in the evening. Right, I've just got back. And I didn't go crazy, I was, I was saying to you in the car that I wasn't going to go mad. But I did pick up a bunch of those dried flowers from the range because I thought they were so pretty. And I think I said when I was in there that I was stuck between two bunches. There was a bunch that just had the eucalyptus in and I thought they were really pretty. And I've wanted to get some eucalyptus for ages. I wanted to get some last spring I think, but I just forgot. Um, so it was between that and this one, but then I really liked these leaves in there as well and then it's got like the pop of colour I don't know whether I'm going to keep the pink and the purples in I don't know if that's a bit adventurous for us but um I wanted to fill the vases we've got one vase there and then on the other side of the unit we've got that like speckled white and black one which I want to put some in so I thought that would be cute I'd either split them and do two bunches or just put them in the big vase and then, I think I showed you this as well, I just picked up a new reed diffuser because I've been absolutely loving these in the house. I think I said this earlier as well, but we've got one in the hallway and as soon as you walk in, it's so strong and it just smells so nice. And I feel like whenever anyone comes in here, that's like my thing. I like the house to smell nice. The thought of our house smelling gross when people walk in gives me the ick. So I like to make sure that it's smelling nice. So I'm either gonna put that on the unit here so it smells nice in the living room or in one of the bathrooms because I feel like they're always really nice and strong in the bathroom because they're not very big but yeah that's all I picked up today um I'm going to arrange them in the vase now and I'll show you what they look like but they were 4 99 that bunch of dried flowers and you get what is my fringe doing I've washed my hair today so it's like you know when it's too silky and it just doesn't hold um but yeah 4 99 for this big bunch of dried flowers was really good and the bunch with just the eucalyptus in was 3 99 so yeah, really good. If you're looking to get some for the spring, I'd definitely go into the range because they had loads of different types as well. But yeah, I'm going to arrange them in the vase now and I'll show you what they look like. I think I need to have a little bit more of a play around with them, but you've got to be really gentle with them because they're so delicate so little bits keep falling off but how pretty i love the colors in it i have actually kept the colorful bits in as well which i wasn't expecting to do but i feel like it just goes really nicely in there and it's made it look so nice and fresh in here and i think for 4.99 that's actually a really big bunch of dried flowers I am just about to take my makeup off and then sit and edit this video so that I can upload it and get it up tonight. But a huge thank you as always for being here and for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed coming with me for a fun little shopping morning and make sure you're subscribed if you're not as well, I wanted to say, because I'm trying to stick to the two uploads a week. So yeah, I'm really happy to be back and hopefully I will see you in the next video.